Claudia Winkleman is shuddering at the thought of herself age 21. I just left university, I was doing my first job which I was absolutely rubbish at. I don't think I had a fringe which is alarming, she explains. Strictly come dancing at 21 however, is a far glitzier prospect. This weekend sees the first live show of its 21st series, and she and co-host Tess Daly don't sound remotely weary at the idea of returning for another full pelt season. In fact, they're raring to go. Here, the much-loved presenters explain the privilege and joy of presenting the BBC hit, and talk Argentine tangos, Ed Balls, Blackpool's Fish and Chips, and dancing when the studio's empty. Tess this is Strictly's 21st series, how does it feel to return to the show for such a monumental series? It does feel monumental. Strictly is now a worldwide hit format. It is known as Dancing with the Stars globally, and it's just incredible to think that it now plays in so many territories and yet we were the very first. What keeps audiences coming back for more? It feels like a huge privilege to be part of a TV show that the nation has taken to their hearts. Families have grown up together watching it on a Saturday night, they tell me all the time. What is the biggest joy from your job as a Strictly host, and the biggest challenge? The biggest joy is that this is a live TV show. It's such an adrenaline rush. The biggest challenge is probably running up the stairs and across the studio at speed in stilettos. My calves do not thank me the next day. Do you have one standout dance and or celebrity dancer from your previous series of Strictly Come Dancing? Ed Balls and his now infamous Gangnam Style routine. Once seen never to be forgotten. Another favorite is Hamza Yassin, 2022 champion. His salsa was on a whole other level to anything we've seen before it. There are so many great departments and roles involved in Strictly, if you could spend a day with one of them, who would it be and why? We are spoiled because we have the best in the business. Dave Arch and his team are surely the best live music on television? Sometimes the wardrobe department provide up to three changes for the entire cast during a live show. And I am in awe of the makeup and hair teams, I'd love to spend the day watching them work their magic. Strictly returned to Blackpool last year, how was that, and does it make you excited to return this year? It's always a treat to return to Blackpool. We love the wonderfully warm, northern welcome, and of course the fish and chip supper. It's no mean feat transporting a cast and crew of this size to the tower ballroom. Is there a song that will never fail to get you on the dance floor at parties or weddings? The one song that never fails to get me on the dance floor at parties is Calvin Harris and Rihanna We Found Love. When we had no audiences in the studio, we would play it between shows to lift the energy in the studio and me and Claudia would dance around like no one was watching. Claudia what is the biggest joy from your job as a Strictly host, and the biggest challenge? Just being part of this show is a total joy. I know this might sound revolting but it is a family and we can't wait to all be back together. Crew, Production Hair, makeup, the pros and Dave Arch. My husband, we love to get back together. The biggest challenge is walking in heels. Do you find yourself looking forward to watching particular styles of dance as the weeks go on? Which ones are your favorite? I so look forward to the Argentine tango. It never comes up early but the moment I get a whiff of it or someone mentions it, I start making sort of weird clicky noises with my tongue and I can't wait to watch. Do you have one standout dance and or celebrity dancer from your previous series of Strictly Come Dancing? Ed Balls obviously was extraordinary. 
It was the only time the floor manager sent a message to everyone come to the floor. Alicia Dixon once did a Viennese waltz which made everybody cry. Another standout moment was Gloria Estefan in Blackpool. That speaks for itself. There are so many great departments and roles involved in Strictly, if you could spend a day with one of them, who would it be and why? There are so many extraordinary departments but if I could be with anyone all day it would be with Vicky Gill because those costumes are extraordinary. The colors, the way they move, the way that everything is recycled. That woman and her team are genius. Do you have one standout dance and or celebrity dancer from last year's Strictly Come Dancing? Hamza was unbelievable. He did a dance in week 4 where he threw Yovita up in the air. And then again and again. If you could only pick one favorite performance from all your series so far, what would it be, and why? There is Alicia Dixon's Viennese Waltz, Rose and Giovanni's Couples Choice, there's Ed Ball's Gangnam Style. I have too many. I just have too many. Bill Bailey and Odie's Couples Choice. I am going to get into trouble because I can't choose. Strictly returned to Blackpool last year, how was that, and does it make you excited to return this year? Blackpool is genuinely magical. We love it. The people are so lovely and so welcoming. We all look forward to it and all the celebrities, once they make it to week 3, week 4, there is just a hunger to go to Blackpool. Best fish and chips you can ever have in your life. Is there a song that will never fail to get you on the dance floor at parties or weddings? Almost any song, but if Beyonce Crazy in Love came on, I have to move and I am not good at moving. It's not something you want to see. But yes, then I will get up and jig about. Finally is there anything you are particularly excited for this series? Us all being together. I love standing next to Tess and love trying on sparkly outfits. And mainly, I cannot wait to watch these people learn to dance. Strictly Come Dancing continues tonight at 6.15pm on BBC One and BBC iPlayer. Just me.